Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be talking about text in HitFilm Express. Okay, so adding text is actually really simple to do in HitFilm Express. There's two main ways to do it, okay? Um, the other ways to add text and to manipulate text are in the pro version, and of course, today we're going to be using HitFilm Express, and so we're going to be just showing you the two ways to do it. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and make a composite shot. Um, I don't have anything in the background. I'm not, you know, going to add it on top of a video of any kind, so we can just go ahead and make a new layer and add a composite shot, or make a new composite shot and add layers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is show you probably the easiest way to do things is, of course, click the text tab in the viewer. Anywhere on the viewer that you want to add the text, just go ahead and click. And what that's going to do is it's going to add a layer of new text. As soon as you're done clicking, what you're going to do is go, of course, just go ahead and type whatever the text is going to say. Let's go ahead and go back to the selection tool. And of course, just like any other asset in HitFilm Express, you have your little drag tool you can move around on the screen. You can drag it along these axes and you can rotate with this little box. Now your anchor point will be on the left side. If you've, you know, done it this way, click the text tab and then clicked in the viewer. Um, and we can go ahead and show you how to control things. So I'm going to go control Z there so we can get back to uh, the regular orientation. What we're going to do is highlight all of the text inside of our little box that we made. Go over to your media panel and click the text box. Okay, the text tab will come down. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to change the color. It's going to allow you to change the font, the size, the letter spacing, whether they've got any um, borders, you know, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and add, you know what, we're going to make this just a little bit bigger so we can see it. Um, yeah, that looks good. We can center that in a little bit. And then of course you can change the, the spacing in between the letters too. Um, go back to one and then of course you know the spacing between lines of course we've only got a single line here so we won't need to worry about spacing there let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a little bit of a border on these letters here you can change the color of those borders of course you can make them white black green you know any any color that floats your boat we're going to keep it black that way we can do something kind of crazy with the uh, inside font make it yellow there we go. I know that looks kind of difficult to see on your screen, but we're going to keep it that way because I like the uh, the color combo there. So um, we can go ahead and use these controls. You've just got to remember that anytime that you're changing text in HitFilm, you have to have the inside of the box, all of the letters that you're going to be changing highlighted, just like I did there. The inside, of course, is all light blue. Okay, down here on the paragraph, there isn't a whole lot of controls that you can do by just adding text using the text tab in the viewer. Um, now, these, of course, here are going to be your paragraph settings. And those paragraph settings are going to allow you to align things, you know, left, right, top, or bottom, or centered. Um, now, to utilize those, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the select tool, kind of drag this guy down out of the way. Um, we're going to go back to our text tool. Click and then drag a box. Of course, he's not hes not wanting to do it. There we go. Click and drag a box. What that's going to do is it's going to allow you to type anything you want within that box. Okay. It's basically like creating a new page in Microsoft Word. Okay. You can't text or type anything on the outside of that box. And if you look down here, these controls actually are highlighted. And so you can manipulate what the text does and how it looks within this box as opposed to just um, using a single line of text and then hitting enter and creating a paragraph that way. It's a lot easier to do by clicking and dragging a box in the area that you want. Okay, um, that's the first way of, you know, doing adding text in HitFilm. It's probably the most simple because it's, you know, just kind of smooth and easy to do. We're going to go back to our select tool, delete this box because we don't need it anymore. So we're going to go ahead and bring this up. Um, oh, and to move your anchor point on something that you've clicked, you know, use this, clicked on the inside of the box to move that anchor point, just go to the paragraph page or paragraph tab under the text and then click center. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to center that anchor point. I mean, you can go to the right too. And it just moves that anchor point around that text. So that text could be, you know, 100 characters long and it will move that anchor point to the center of the text. The second way to, to add text is almost the same but different, if that makes any sense. What you're going to do is actually add a text layer. So you're going to go ahead and hit new layer, go down to text, and it adds a text layer, okay? Super simple. It'll it'll highlight your little uh, cursor here to add text to it. You just double click, do any of your typing, and of course all of your settings are going to be the same from the last time you added text to it. So adding text is super simple, okay? Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching. I know today was a very short and quick and to the point kind of video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, anything you want to see on HitFilm Express, and we will see you guys next time.